Language development in the first years of life is critical to later educational success. Language skills are time sensitive, which means that they're really difficult to acquire later on. As practitioners, we're in a position to make a big difference at this crucial stage by providing a rich language environment and by being attentive conversation partners. Language development is best supported in a playful environment full of stories and songs, rhymes, signs, talk and imaginative play. So one of the things we're going to talk about is actually just trying to find time to talk with children in everyday experiences and routines. I'm just wondering whether you've got some examples that we could explore around that. Um, when I was working with the, in the two-year-old room, um, I think one of the things we've been really thinking about and reflecting on is, is ensuring that the routine has a pace but isn't so quick that the children are rushed through it because drawing those daily routines and those everyday activities is a really good opportunity to, for them to explore and talk and us to talk together with them and they're really able to make connections with their home routines. I think it's really important for children to have real reasons to talk and have lots of opportunities for spontaneous conversations but also perhaps um, more structured times with adults to support their communication and language. Have you got any examples that you use in your setting? When we finish the first bit of the morning, we come back and sit down in small groups, which is we, talk, we call um, review time. And the children, they um, talk about what they, what they have been learning in that morning, and uh, they share with their uh, peers as well. And um, you know, they ask what they've been and what they like, and what they were doing and who were they playing, which is very important for children who doesn't want to talk that a lot, you know, and they share experience as well. Mm. I think that really predictable routine of review time, because it happens every day, it gives confidence for those children who might not initially be able to um, be able to express themselves verbally. Um, and we use lots of visual um, prompts to support the children, photographs of what they've been doing that morning, it might be real things that they bring, a model that they've made, um, and they're the experts because they're the ones who've been doing that learning in the morning and it really supports those children who may feel a little bit more shy in a group or just not, might not yet have the vocabulary or they might be learning it in a, in a new language from their home language. A really great way of introducing children to new words and vocabulary is using really great books and songs and rhymes. Um, do you have any experience of, of using great things in your nursery school? Um, we use songs and stories really regularly with the children as we do all the way through um, the nursery. Um, that repetition really supports the children to consolidate their learning and gives them that sense of understanding and feeling part of the group. Um, with the two-year-olds particularly, lots of the action rhymes and nursery rhymes which have actions that go with them that you can use your whole body to explore, um, really support children to sort of understand the different parts of the word um, and to really tune into the sounds within the words. Um, as well as, as that sense of joy of using your voice to express yourself and using your whole body to, to express yourself. The best thing of all is enjoying conversations with children and encouraging children to talk to each other. If a child knows you like talking and listening to them, they will want to talk and listen to you. Children will learn so much language in their earliest years and this unlocks new learning in all areas of their life. Exploring language with young learners is so important and as practitioners we're in a very powerful position to make a big difference by providing a rich language environment. Play is often the best way for children to use and explore the words that they're learning in meaningful contexts. 